Peter is a little kid with some big problems. He gets picked on at school, his parents won't let him go trick-or-treating, and he's just an all-around scaredy-cat. Oh, and he's communicating with a little girl who lives inside his bedroom wall. And the things she tells him aren't good. Cobweb is a movie that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. I'd managed to avoid the trailers and reviews, though I had heard good things. All I really knew about Cobweb is that it took place around Halloween. Cobweb reminded me a little bit of Barbarian, because I'd gone into both, absolutely blind, and because of Cobweb's twisty turniness. Director Samuel Bowden and cinematographer Philip Lozano capture the Halloween vibe nicely, and the film overall is chock full of striking visuals. I particularly liked the use of shadows and light, accentuating size, further putting the audience in young Peter's shoes. And speaking of being in Peter's shoes, both of his parents mention more than once what a big imagination he has, placing doubt on his reliability as we're witnessing the film from his perspective. However, you place just as much doubt on his parents because it becomes obvious early on that there's something very off about both of them. It's the kind of movie where nothing is random. Everything bears meaning and there's plenty of hints strewn throughout and little kind of Easter eggs that will come into play later. There's also a surprising amount of bloodshed and carnage. And boy, is it satisfying. Less satisfying would be how bloated the third act is. It's a minor qualm, but the final act was a bit tiring, and I would have preferred a less-is-more approach to a certain character. The performances all around are quite good. Woody Norman, who made a great first impression on me in The Last Voyage of the Demeter, is very good here as Peter, as are Lizzie Kaplan and Anthony Starr as his mother and father. Kaplan, in particular, is excellent as Peter's unhinged mother. Cobweb has its fair share of nicely suspenseful moments, an excellent atmosphere, a moody score and plenty of spooky visuals. Cobweb isn't perfect, but I had a great time with it, and I highly recommend it. As for this Blu-ray release from Lionsgate, both the picture quality and sound quality were superb. The image quality sports a high level of detail, even during some of the darker sequences. The DTS HD Master Audio track is crystal clear enough to capture all the little subtleties, and nice and boomy enough to capture the... not-so-subtleties. Overall, I'd give both the picture quality and the sound quality on this release a solid 4.5 out of 5. As far as extras are concerned, first up we get Becoming the Girl, in which director Samuel Bowden, makeup, hair, and prosthetic designer Yana Stoya Stoyanova, actors Woody Norman, Cleopatra Coleman, and Alekandra Dragova discuss the character, the design of the character, and performing the character, and more. It's 3 minutes and 32 seconds in length. Next up we have Through the Eyes of a Child, in which director Samuel Bowden, actors Anthony Starr, Joy Rincon, and Woody Norman discuss the film being from the perspective of young Peter. It's 2 minutes and 28 seconds in length. And lastly we have A Primal Fear, in which director Samuel Bowden, actors Woody Norman, production designer Alan Gilmore, discuss the primal fears of bumps in the night, creaky floorboards, and shadows that were used in the film. It's 2 minutes and 21 seconds in length. This is a solid release for Cobweb from the folks over at Lionsgate. If you're a fan of Cobweb, then this release should be in your collection. If you've seen Cobweb, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what your favorite horror movie of this year has been so far. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members for your generosity and support. Become a patron today and get early access to videos, have a say in what content appears on my channel, join me for monthly live streams, exclusive watch parties, and more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream, as well as members-only watch parties. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.